What is up, guys? Hey, have you guys ever wanted to see how to set up and sell your own APIs on a website called Rapid API? Um, well, I'm going to show you guys. Um, just recently, I had AI code me up some AI generated code. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you what I mean. All right, we'll share entire screen. Check this out. All right, so here we go. All right, so over here, I have myaiteam.com. This is the software that I built and created. Um, and essentially, I had basically a client that said, hey, I need a code that essentially you could send in a zip code and it returns the city and the state. All right, and the reason why they need it is because whenever they do like, like zip code matching, they need to be able to match up the city and the state for shipping, right? So then they all only have to ask for zip code whenever they do shipping. Right. And so so here's what I did is if you go to rapidapi.com, um, one of my APIs, the reason I even ever started this is because I added my website scraper API onto this. Um, you can see what I like about rapidapi.com. If you guys have never heard about it, um, rapidapi.com is a marketplace. OK, so basically what that is, it is a whole bunch of APIs which are basically you're able to get a whole bunch of like data you're able to get like this one's a linkedin scraper this one is uh, there's a lot of linkedin this one's instagram this is local businesses this one's zillow uh so there, this one's apis for football um this one so basically this is a giant marketplace for a whole bunch of apis all right well if we come over here um we can list our api and sell it on this thing Okay, so basically I coded up this API right here, which basically inputs a zip code. You can see right here is a zip code and then it outputs uh, the city and state. Okay, so if we go to rapidapi.com, we'll go up here into the studio. I've kind of already set up my account. We'll go up to studio um, on here. And just so you guys can see, um, one of these are all my APIs that I have set up, right? I have get sitemap, city and code, um, website scraper API. This is the first one that I ever started. If I click on this, um, you guys can see some of the traffic and analytics. Um, if I go to analytics, um, you can see that so far right now, this has gotten called 55,000 times just this week in the last seven days. Uh, if I go 90 days out, 99,000 times. Okay. So, um, so this API is used quite a bit. Um, how much does this produce in revenue so far with this? I just listed this thing in August. You can see. Okay. So August was my very first time getting a subscription. I got 27 bucks. Woo All right. And then uh, last month in September, I got 54 bucks. And then this month I'm at 318 for the monthly subscriptions. And then I'm at $73 just for the overages. So that's basically like you could set overage fees. Um, and so um, you can see, here's the thing is the cool thing about rapid API is I do not promote at all. This is strictly like their marketplace. Okay. So um, this is just one API that I have. Now this is my top API. As of like the last few days, I've been like realizing, wow, this is a real possible to have income from this. Um, that first few months, it was like, ah, oh, 27 bucks, no big deal um 40 54 bucks no big deal and then all of a sudden i have 318 and then 73 dollars. i'm like okay maybe i should focus on this because i haven't been focusing on it at all so i'm going to show you guys how to set it up if we go back to our studio you can see this is um basically they, they have like a little walkthrough on how to set this up okay so if i go here um we'll go to our little drop down and i have city zip to code and city. So this one is a brand new API that I just started setting up on. Uh, on the left hand side, you see where it says hub listing. We're going to click this and then we're going to go down through this whole thing. Um, basically, the first thing zip code to city, we're going to need some type of logo or some type of like design for that. So I'll head over into my AI team and I'll just quickly create a little like logo for us just to like add that. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It could be from any like AI generator that you guys use. I just so choose to use my AI team. All right, so you guys can see I have one for the sitemap generator that I made. I'm gonna paste this into here um, and I'm gonna say uh, uh, zip to city um, and state, all right? And then I'll switch to flux 1.1. And I'm going to click this a couple times while it makes us an image. 
And then um, I'll go back over and I'll show you guys how to set up the code part. So this will generate, probably click like four times. And then I'm gonna go back into Rapid API. And if you look right here, it says location, we could put, this one is going to be, um, let's see, this one is gonna be, I would say this one is more of like, I would say like data. Um, so I'm gonna put data and you can see right here, this is your like short description. So you could add that. You could add a long description. You could add a website if you sell it on your website also, terms of service. Um, this right here is whenever you wanna turn it public, you'll click this button and then you'll click it right here. So this will be like the last thing that we do. All right, right here is our base URL. So whenever you set this code up, um, I don't know about where you guys are setting it up. I set this code up for me on my cPanel server. Okay, so I came in here and I have a file manager. Um, inside this file manager, I basically set up a special domain just for this. All right, so basically I set up groups.myai team for this one. And then I wrote the code and I added this PHP script. Okay, so how did I write the PHP script? I absolutely have zero clue how to code. I basically asked the AI over here in the chat, hey, I wanna create a code that does this. Can you help me? And then it helped me through that process. Okay, so um, that's how I wrote the code and then I added it to my server. Okay, so um, if we're glossing over that just a little bit, maybe everyone that watching this is probably, hopefully you have your code and you're ready to set up your API and this is where you're at, okay? So this is gonna be our base URL um, that we're gonna have, don't add any extensions. And then we're gonna hit save. Um, and then next we'll go over here to where it says definitions. And then these are all our endpoints, okay? So for me, it's zip to city and state, and then I will hit edit. And I coded up my endpoint to be a get endpoint, okay? So you could, you could have multiple. However, I feel like the get is the one that works the best. Um, and then I put my zip to city PHP. So that's like where my file is located on my file, on my, in my directory. And then I passed in right here, there's headers, there's the query body uh, request and all this. I'm out, I use the query and then I'm passing in my parameters. So for me, my parameter is zip code and then it's a string and then I could pass in my zip code, okay? So for me, it's 89102 and then I could hit right here, test endpoint. You might need to save it to before you can see the test endpoint, all right? But if I hit test endpoint, you can see it pulls back our response back here and right here, it says two items, city, Las Vegas, state, Las Vegas. And then right here, you can hit create example from response. And then I will hit that. That basically saves the response. So if anybody like wants to see what the, like, the return is, they could see that, okay? So now I'll hit save. I just basically set that part up. And then up here, if you look, there's docs. So you could add any readme to it, right? So I could say this end uh, point, point takes in a zip code and returns the city and state. All right, and I'll hit save, okay? Then there's the gateway. So if you have any of these, you could request it. You could set up different like um, firewalls and all this stuff. There's the community. So if you invite anybody here and then last there's monetization, okay? So this is how you actually get paid from Rapid API. Okay, so on Rapid API, they allow you to set it up and then it pays through a PayPal account. All right, so what I'm gonna do is there's this basic plan. On here, we can do a monthly subscription or a pay per use. I'm gonna say a monthly subscription and I'm literally gonna start this one off at $9 a month. All right, the $9 a month is going to get you a thousand calls. So basically what I did is, and that's a soft limit. So here's what I did, I, I set up the edit and then the next one is this request. So I'm gonna click on this request button, this little tab, and I'm gonna put a thousand. And that's a thousand monthly. And I'm gonna say soft limit, okay? The reason why we wanna say soft limit is because if they go over, well, we could charge them extra per call. So I'm gonna say for every extra call, it's gonna be nine cents, okay? So I could say that is my extra and I could hit save, okay? So that's how I got paid the overages on my site. Um, so this is $9 a month. I'm totally, I think that's a great price. Okay. So $9 a month. And then I can turn on the pro version. Okay. Turn on the pro version. And I like to increase this. So if this is nine, 
I like to jump up to like 47 or 27. I'm going to put 47 for this one um, because they might call this a lot. Okay. So 47 for this one. And this one is going to get you basically this one is nine. That's 40. So that's five times the amount. This one is going to get you uh, 5,000. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to give them a little extra and say six. All right. And that's a soft limit with eight cents per extra call. Well, how do I calculate this math of how much my API costs? For me, this API costs nothing besides server cost. If yours actually is like video processing or something that's like resource intensive, charge way more, right? Don't charge like what I'm charging, charge way more for your plans, okay? Ultra, I like to make it where it's like 97 bucks, all right? So they have 97 bucks and then that's double that. Um, so I'm gonna put this at 15,000, okay? And then that's a soft limit also. Overages, um, we're going to say is the nine. We're going to say six cents on this one. All right. Then I always like to add the mega because here's the thing. You never know when someone's going to be like, dude, I really need this software. Um, I wish you had a $497 plan. Um, can you add that? And Yeah, sure. Absolutely. And then so I'm going to add that. That's going to be five times that amount. So we're going to say 100,000 times a month. All right. That's quite a bit of limit with a soft limit of uh, an extra three cents per call. All right, we'll put one cent. Okay, cool. So this is my API setup. I just set up the payments. I just set up the analyst, the track, like the actual call. Um, and then here's the cool thing is rapid API now is going to take care of it. So let's turn it on now. So if I go into here, I could actually click this. I have the rights to publish this API and I could click this now and I could hit save. And if I go view in hub, um, we're probably not going to have a little logo for it, right? So city and zip, let's go back. All right. And let's check out how our little logo turned out. And then we'll add our logo. All right. Zip city and state. Nice. All right. Super cool. Zip to city and state. All right. Cool. These things are super cool, super simple. I will download this one and use that go back to my rad api and use that as my logo and pretty much that is how we create a api on rapid api let me know in the comments guys if you guys what you guys create and uh can't wait good luck talk soon